While most Canberrans are doing the right thing, compliance checkers have been left frustrated that for some, the message about proper mask wearing just isn't getting through. Eight out of the ten businesses they visited yesterday weren't complying with the public health directions. This is a problem. We are now moving beyond warnings. The next step, shutting down businesses that don't toe the line. It's the last thing health authorities want to be dealing with when the virus is still spreading in the capital. Of the 13 new COVID-19 cases recorded overnight, just two were in quarantine for their entire infectious period. And six of the cases are yet to be linked to existing cases or transmission sites. There are currently 245 active cases, nine of them being treated in hospital, with three in intensive care, including one on a ventilator. Seven are unvaccinated, one is partially vaccinated with one dose, and one has unknown vaccination status at this time. Known infection sites remain unchanged, with just one new case linked to Busy Bee's Early Learning Centre. The list of exposure locations now includes another childcare facility, the Nipperville Early Learning Centre in Watson, on the 6th and 7th of September, and the Malkara Specialist School in Garran on two days from September 8. Both have been classified as close contact sites. Our team have been communicating directly with those affected and providing support and guidance for the way forward. Health issues mean five-year-old Charlie has been learning from home and so has avoided exposure at the school. His mother says it's a blow for a tight school community already feeling the pressure of parenting high-need students through lockdown. Just the kind of thought of people being um, at home without the level of support that they um, would, would otherwise uh, need for their um, complex children is, um, is you know, quite, quite tough, I guess. To try to help ease the burden on families and staff, Melissa's now helping to gather activities, toys and other treats through Embracing Ministries. But it's not the only at-risk community now impacted. With the Winunga Nimitija Aboriginal Health Service closed today and tomorrow due to a close contact at the site. Our clients would be devastated if Winunga were to be closed any more than a couple of days because we've got clients with such complex health issues and vulnerability. Just across the border in the Yass Valley, the speed at which the Delta variant can change circumstances is all too clear, with fragments of the virus detected in wastewater, followed by a positive case, plunging the council area back into a two-week lockdown from midnight, just days after their last lockdown was lifted. Tomorrow, the ACT government will reveal whether Canberra will emerge from lockdown as planned at the end of this week. Harry Frost, ABC News, Canberra.